Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve echo in your headphones on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the Star menu, type in Troubleshoot. Best result should come back with Troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select additional troubleshooters on the right panel. And then you want to select underneath Get Up and Running, Playing Audio, Find and Fix Problems of Playing Sound, select Run the Troubleshooter. I'd recommend following along with any prompts it suggests in order to go about resolving the problem. And then select Next again, to just continue on here. Select Close. Make sure your headphones are plugged in all the way and they have a good connection so while we're on that subject just want to cover that something else we also want to do here if we close out of here and we want to open up the start menu type in control panel best result should come back with control panel listed right above app go ahead and left click on that and you want to set your view by to large icons and then select the sound button you want to now go ahead and select the speakers just go ahead and left click on your speaker device and then select properties select the enhancements tab and you want to check mark where it says disable all enhancements and it might also say disable all sound effects either or and you want to just go ahead and keep that check marked select apply and okay once that's done select okay again close out of here go open up the start menu and type in device manager best result should come back with device manager go ahead and open that up and now you want to locate your sound, video, and game controller section. Double click on it. And then right click on your audio device. It might be a different name than mine, but you just want to right click on it and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers. And then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Go ahead and select a generic driver if there's only one here. Unless you had a manufacturer specific one, in which case I'd recommend going with that one instead. And that's pretty much it. And you would just go ahead and select next to continue here. So select yes. Give it a moment. And then once you are at this point, you can go click on close. You're going to have to go restart your computer. So let's go do that. And there you go, guys. Should be as simple as that, and you should be back up and running. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.